Hello movie lovers. It's great to see you here. Don't forget to subscribe to catch my daily movie recommendations. Let's dive into the world of cinema together. Number 10 The Finest Hour The Finest Hour is a movie about two Navy officers, Hammer and Mazzoli, who become friends despite their differences during SEAL training. They both fall for the same woman, Barbara, but Hammer cheats on her. During a mission, Hammer is injured, and Mazzoli helps him and Barbara. Later, Hammer risks the mission due to falsified medical clearance and dies. Mazzoli and Barbara don't pursue a relationship. Number 9 Renegades Renegades is a 2017 action thriller film directed by Stephen Quayle. The story follows a group of Navy SEALs who discover a treasure worth millions of dollars at the bottom of a Bosnian lake during the Bosnian War in the 1990s. They plan a heist to retrieve the treasure, but their mission is complicated when they discover the lake is heavily guarded by the enemy forces. The film stars Sullivan Stapleton, Jakey, Simmons, and Charlie Bewley. Although it received mixed reviews from critics, Renegades was praised for its action sequences and suspenseful plot. Number 8 Without Remorse Without Remorse is a 2021 action thriller film directed by Stefano Salima and starring Michael B. Jordan. The movie is based on the novel of the same name by Tom Clancy and follows John Kelly, a Navy SEAL, who seeks revenge after his pregnant wife is murdered by Russian soldiers. As he embarks on a dangerous mission to expose the conspiracy behind the attack, Kelly uncovers a larger plot involving high-ranking officials and must navigate a web of deceit and betrayal to complete his mission. The film received mixed reviews from critics, but Michael B. Jordan's performance was praised. Number 7 G.I. Jane G.I. Jane is a 1997 action drama film directed by Ridley Scott and starring Demi Moore. The movie tells the story of Jordan O'Neill, a determined and ambitious woman who becomes the first female candidate for the Navy SEALs, the elite unit of the U.S. Navy. Despite facing constant harassment and discrimination from her male colleagues, O'Neill refuses to give up and strives to prove herself. However, her journey becomes more challenging when she uncovers a conspiracy to sabotage her training and discredit her. With the support of her commanding officer and the few allies she has made, O'Neill fights to overcome the obstacles and prove that she is what it takes to be a SEAL. Number 6 Navy SEALs Navy SEALs is a 1990 action film directed by Louis T. The movie follows a group of elite Navy SEALs as they undertake a series of dangerous missions, including a mission to stop a group of Lebanese terrorists from obtaining a stash of Stinger missiles. The team is led by Lt. James Curran, and includes the sharpshooter Dane and the hot-headed Hawkins. As they carry out their missions, the team faces numerous challenges, including political interference, betrayal, and personal demons. The film was generally well-received for its realistic portrayal of the SEALs and their training, as well as the intense action sequences. Number 5 Act of Valor Act of Valor is a 2012 action film that follows a team of Navy SEALs as they embark on a mission to rescue a kidnapped CIA agent. The film features real-life active duty Navy SEALs in the lead roles and showcases their expertise in tactics, weapons, and hand-to-hand -hand combat. The team discovers a global terrorist plot to launch simultaneous attacks against the United States and its allies, and must use all their training and skills to stop the threat. The film received mixed reviews for its acting and storyline, but was praised for its realistic portrayal of the Navy SEALs and their operations. Number for Tears of the Sun Tears of the Sun is a 2003 war drama film directed by Antoine Fuqua and starring Bruce Willis. The movie follows the story of a Navy SEAL team who is sent into war-torn Nigeria to rescue an American doctor, played by Monica Bellucci, who is working in a refugee camp. The team's mission becomes more complicated when they decide to rescue a group of refugees, including women and children, and attempt to escort them to safety across the border. As they journey through dangerous territory, the team must battle enemy forces and face difficult moral decisions. The film received mixed reviews upon its release, but was praised for its intense action scenes and Willis performance. 
Number 3 Jarhead Jarhead is a 2005 war drama film based on the memoir of U.S. Marine Anthony Swafford. The movie follows a group of Marines during the 1991 Gulf War who are trained as snipers and sent to Saudi Arabia to fight against Iraq. The story focuses on the psychological toll of warfare and the boredom and frustration of the soldiers as they wait for action. Jarhead stars Jake Gyllenhaal, Jamie Foxx, and Peter Sarsgaard. The movie was critically acclaimed for its portrayal of the psychological effects of war on soldiers and was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Sound Editing. Number 2 American Sniper American Sniper is a 2014 biographical war drama film based on the memoir of Chris Kyle, a, a Navy SEAL sniper who served in Iraq. The movie follows Kyle's four tours in Iraq as he becomes the deadliest marksman in U.S. military history, but also portrays the physical and emotional toll that his service has on him and his family back home. Directed by Clint Eastwood and starring Bradley Cooper as Kyle, the film received six Academy Award nominations and won for Best Sound Editing. Number 1 Lone Survivor Lone Survivor is a 2013 war film based on the true story of the failed United States Navy SEALs mission known as Operation Red Wings. The film follows a team of four SEALs who are tasked with capturing or killing a notorious Taliban leader in Afghanistan. However, the mission goes awry when the team is ambushed by Taliban fighters, leading to a fierce battle for survival. Directed by Peter Berg and starring Mark Wahlberg, Taylor Kitsch, Emil Hirsch, and Ben Foster, Lone Survivor received critical acclaim for its intense and realistic portrayal of modern warfare.